All right. So those of you who are just joining me, I always like to save all my end of season chests for you guys. I know I could have opened these a few days ago, but it's just not as fun when I don't have you guys online with me getting to enjoy it. And uh, like I always do, I'm going to log out here. Um, I've got two friend accounts that I open the chests for, Slunchy and The Machine, who's obviously got the best luck, as we all know. And then I've got two bot accounts in Wild that are just silver bots. And then I've got my main account, who I kind of roam around in Diamond with it these days, because I'll take too many penalties uh, for underleveled cards if I move up to Champ, which is a real shame, because I'd love to be there. So I always like to start with looking at the value of these accounts before we go into it to see, like, for the value of the account, what is it that you're actually gaining? So we're going to start with the good old Slunch and Munch over here. There we go. And the value of his account is 51. So it just always fluctuates between a dollar, two dollars every time that we seem to look at it here. And let's go over and let's open it up and see how he does today. He's just a bronze bot. Got his old Archmage token. And you guys might know Archmage had some problems initially for a while there. So uh, who knows what's happening with Archmage right now. I think it's back up and running. Um, but there's a little bit of downtime, so I doubt that he's going to have as many chests as he normally has. Um, let's go, let's take a look here. The battle log. Is he not even battling right now? Well, we'll have to figure out what's going on with his account. I'll have to go and fix it up for him if it's not actually doing any battles. But let's take a look at his chest. So again, $51 account. Doesn't have, he actually has a lot of bronze chests for once. He's normally, doesn't get very many. And, uh, let's see how things do. 0.6 SPS for bronze account. And this is one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan of bronze. Like, obviously you get excited if you open a legendary, but they're few and far between. And then anything else you open is like one potion, six merits, half of an SPS. Like, it's just not that exciting. So I'm always happy to move up in leagues. And I'm really hoping that they find a way to kind of incentivize more of us to move up in leagues. Um, I just recently found out that the reward share is actually split between modern and wild uh for each rank or i should say for each league um when it comes to uh end of season chests as well as daily chests i always thought that those were also separate but they're not they share the same pool so i'd love to see those pools be separated 50 50 between modern and wild the same way that like the battle sps is because i think that that would make a lot of these chests a lot more exciting for modern players but right now they apparently share the same pool, which is something I just learned from Mondroid when we were talking a little bit earlier. 0.19. Oh, there you go. There's a good one. An Ava. That card's fantastic, especially with the Owl. Aves the Owl plus Evelyn uh, Overa. Aves and Evelyn, they go really well together. I've been using that combo quite a bit, especially in Poison Roll set, when you can use Grimbard and Smith, followed by Owl, followed by Evelyn. And then at the very back, you've got, uh, you've got the Angel Girl. Because those guys, that's three immune characters, all of which we're doing, like, three magic attack. Really good. So, nothing exciting there for the Slunch and Munch. Let's take a look over here at how he's doing from a seasonal reward standpoint. Uh, check rewards. And again, when we're looking at the value of the rewards for the season, he's got 10 cents. But it's a little bit misleading because, again, it oh, over here. He's got 34 cents, but again, it's a little misleading because it counts all of these as zero dollars in value. And it doesn't look like he was able to pull any kind of legendaries. And his only mythic here was the was the Evelyn. So relatively unexciting, like most times the bronze accounts are. Let's take a look at the silver bot accounts that I have. Obviously, we're going to save machine and silence the real silence, the real silence for last and we'll go, let's close that guy up now. We don't need you open anymore. And let's go and let's switch account into Silence 3. And here's the value of this account. Again, I own all these cards. It's $348, so almost $350 is the value of the account. And let's see how we do with Silence 3's end of season rewards. Name. And again, these two bot accounts are just gonna help me hopefully get the soulbound reward cards that I need um after unlocking them and everything so i can make my main account stronger like i said i'm in it to play but my luck is so bad i'm not a machine okay i'm not i'm not machine you guys know that my luck is not the best when it comes to pulling uh legendaries yes there we go oh my gosh 
If only that was my main account. You guys know how for like months now I've been saying I'm short one Usit to get my Usit level three. If only this was my main account, I'd have an Usit who can heal. That is so game changing. So I guess eventually, eventually when we're able to unsoulbound and unlock our cards, I can transfer this guy over to my main account. I'm so pumped. Finally, even though it's not the right account, I'll finally be able to complete my Usit. So I'm pretty happy about that. We're starting off strong here. Oh my gosh, it's a double. It's a double. And it's a Burek Snake Eyes. And as we know, weapons training is actually, it's off the hook these days. So I will gladly take some more weapons training, even though Burek's is a little, she's a little stinky, let's face it. But uh, still, uh, I'm not going to complain about two legendaries within the first six chests. Like, this never happens. At least not on these silver accounts, right? So, go, go, bot extraction. Yeah. Love it. Uh, how's it going, everybody? My music is playing too, so I can barely hear you. Music. Uh oh. Pretty happy just made 60 bucks short in the market. What site? All right. So I hope that I hope that you guys can't still hear the music. The music was turned up there for. Uh, but now it should be down, right? Can you guys still only hear music right now? Yeah, my luck has been used up for 2024. But is the music off now? I just want to make sure. Because I hear some people saying I can barely hear you. Uh, audio output, music in the background. I'll try and turn it down. No music? All right, good, good, good. So the music was fine. Oh, you're talking about your own music. And now I turned it down for everyone else. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, there we go. So two in the first screen, we got double... With the bot extraction. Yeah, bots. Go, go, go. And the Gobson Bomber. I'll take it. Gobby Bombs here has been so amazing for me lately. If you know that they're going to be running um, an, an Izziar, or you know that they're going to be running a, um, what's his name? A Mycelic Slip Spawn. If you pop in that random max level Gobson Bomber, it's like instant doom. It's so good. Like, I was always wondering, is he going to really pay out the way that we think he is, or is he not? And he pays out. He pays out. So, oh, another golden gobby bomb. I love it. All right. Get down here. Finish off these silvers. Oh, man, I cannot believe we got two legendaries. You know what the ironic thing is going to be? Is there's still no time frame on when we can unlock these soul bounds. So I'm going to be sitting here with the soul bounds I need on my main account. I'm not going to pull them on my main account, of course, because now my luck's been used up, right? And they'll just be stuck here on my alt account till the end of days, as far as I can tell. Because there's still so much debate about how to even unlock them, right? It's just like, okay, just make it free. Give us free unlock on it. Like, just give us free unlock. Yes, a Krarzok or, or a Krakzarok or however you pronounce this guy. I love this guy again because of weapons training. I'll weapons train this, this Zok all day long. He loves to be weapon trained. All right. So, I mean, hey, it's hard to complain about that kind of an EOS, right? It's hard to complain about that. I just want to go in and want to say hi to Def Biz, Birds, Bees, and Trees, Ime Wanty, the Ankh 12C. Uh, we got, who else? Black Torch 09. How's it going, buddy? Eternal Paw. And... Yeah, those are the guys who are watching right now. At least who said something. CS Cable in the house. I know you're you're here to win all of the duck races, aren't you, CS Cable? I know you are. But well, welcome, welcome everyone. All right, uh, let's go and let's find out what the season summary is now for Silence Three. Check rewards. Let's see how he did. Again, we're looking at a deck value of about three hundred and fifty dollars. How does that stack up? Two seventy eight in SPS, and we got an Usit, we got a Barracks, and ooh, all right, a Noah the Just, who I also love to weapon train, along with the Cracks of Rock. Okay, cool. So this is actually so happy for me. I just need to be able to somehow transfer this Usit out of this account. Like, please don't make it take until like twenty twenty five for me to unlock this Soulbound. That that would just break my heart right now. All right, let's get out of Silence Three. Let's switch to Silence Two. The other bot account, who will probably open another Usit, let's face it. He's going to open Usit number two of the day. Oh my gosh, if he, if he really does open an Usit now, I've just jinxed myself. Silence 21, Silence 2. All right. Logging in. The Dark Harvest Guild. I don't know if I want to join any guilds at all right now, to be honest with you. Let's hide. 
Let's close. I can always look at that later. I don't really like having my bots extract uh, from the guilds, but I kind of do want to crack those. Uh, I kind of do want to crack those Gladius packs, you know. Maybe I'll open a lucky Quora and that'll be one of the people that everyone complains about when my bots play Quora all day long, right? Oh, I love it. The salt. I love the salt. So silence here sounds two. That accounts 441. And let's see how he does with his claim. So he's a little bit better. You could see si uh, uh, Soulbound being unlocked, but it's being painful to do so. I know. I don't I don't see them unlock it for less than 2x burn right now, to be honest. And Ime says the same thing. Unlocking will be 2027. There's a little oboe because I haven't gotten to do it in a while. Ever since Splinterlands TV has gone off the air. Oh, Will-O-The-Wisp. The sad oboe. We don't really get to hear it so much. There's no Wheel of Doom for the sad oboe. All right. The Psy 2, the more expensive of the two bot accounts. I always start by giving my extras to Psy 2, then it kind of filters down to Psy 3. But these guys get all my extras delegated to them. Speaking of which, I should check my delegation set new player. Oh my gosh, it's another legendary. It's a Beard Snake guy. Okay. Nice. So out of two silver accounts, I got three legendaries. This does not bode well for my main account. I, it does not bode well. But hey, happy 2024 to the Psy guy. I'll take that legendary. Even though it is a Beerix. Actually, she starts off having good weapons training. Now that I think about it, this is a one star with a three. And as we know now, that three is like the max that you can do. So I actually... Like, even just a one-star Beerix is good now. I think that this count may already have a one-star Beerix. I'm not sure. But like I said, I'm not going to complain. There's another Rouser Rock. 57 SPS. That's a silver jackpot right there, guys. Silver jackpot. 57 SPS. I'll take that. That's a buck fifty worth of SPS right then and there. Yep. But man, I really need these soul bounds to be unlocked. I really need the soul bounds unlocked. 0. 0.2, 1.4, 9.38. That's another goodie. For silver, that is, right? For silver. It's another good one. For silver. All right. And will this guy pull off even one more legendary right at the very end? Pop. 44 SPS. This is like, they're like, you know what? We're not going to give you any legendary cards, but hey, hey, we'll give you a ton of SPS. So, hey, the Splinter Gods are merciful today. RNG has blessed me with SPS and legendary cards, right? Let's check out the season summary for Silence 2. It may be the only way to get the last two life summoners I need just to reach level 4. Your words have been so bad and you made it to Diamond. Birds and Bees, don't worry, my Diamond account is coming up. He needs a delay opening. Yep. It's nice to see someone winning big. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's take a look here at this account. Again, I haven't looked at it. $6.38 worth of SPS on a silver account. That's like fantastic. There it's three, three fifty, dollar fifty, dollar twenty-two, dollar fifty, two bone. Like this was good from an SPS standpoint. And let's see all the legendaries. How many did they pull? One Birix. And an Ava. Nice. One Burex, one Ava. We got the Raxorok, who's obviously awesome these days. Loving it. Jeez. Today is the lucky day, I guess, for uh, for those opens. So let's log out. And let's get into our friend, the machine, who I've been talking to. Um, And things are obviously slowing down. He's in, like, construction work, right? But now that it's winter here in Canada, we got snow on the ground and everything. Hard to work on roofs roofs hard to work on roofs when you got like a foot of snow on there right so i think things might slow down he was talking about wanting to get back into it especially when i messaged him and told him hey last week you opened three gold foil usits all in one chest and then he was like "Ooh, maybe i do need to look at my account again and i'm like do you know how long i've been trying to get my final usit do you have any idea and you're just like willy nilly gold account have three usits right all right so let's go let's check him out Hopefully we can get him playing again. Like I said, he's been super busy. He's a working man right now. All right. Uh, 
5,600 is the value of the account. And let's find out what's going on here with his claim. Sorry, guys, I'm still getting over quitting that, quitting smoking. <coughs> oh, man. I've had this cough. It just doesn't seem to want to go away. But I'm now smoke-free for almost two months. I haven't smoked any anything. I haven't smoked cigarettes for, like, years and years now. But not even any pot. I haven't even taken a drag from, like, a uh, a vape. Nothing. Totally clean. Feels weird. But here we are. All right. So we got the gold chest here for the machine with his $5,500 account. Let's see if he'll be able to pull anything good. I would be surprised if he didn't. I would be truly shocked. I think there's only been like, what, one week out of all these years that he hasn't gotten like a legendary or two? And then he makes up for it the next week? Oh, there's an Evelyn. Swamp Spitter. I got my Swamp Spitter to max. He's such a boss. Muskrat, or Mark's rat, I guess. Halfway through them. Come on, machine. Pop yourself a nice little legendary. Have yourself a legendary New Year's. Come on, something Gouda. Go. Uh-oh. You know what? If it doesn't happen for machine... You guys know that I believe in the gambler's fallacy. That means I'm loading up. Oh, double clockwork. That means I'm loading up for one for the Psy account. And like I said, I switched from champion down to uh, diamond. Because now the rebellion's out. And um, I, I don't have all of my rebellion up to where it needs to be to be able to play in diamond. Or, or in champion. Or even diamond, to be, to be honest with you. Like, my commons are level like... 5-6 kind of deal, you know? And my, my rares are level 4-5-6. So, I don't want to take some huge, like, hey, negative 50% on that win, you know? Just for the honor of playing in a higher league. And look at that. Machine didn't really pull any legendaries. Let's check his account. I wonder if he got any, though, throughout throughout the, the season. Right? That that's, that's the real deal over here. I'm shocked right now, though. I'm shocked. Um, I'm shocked. All right, machine. Check your seasonal rewards, buddy. He's got to have like triple gold foil over here. Right? He's got to have triple gold foil. So 821 and just SPS. Whoa, what am I doing here? 821 and just SPS. And let's let's shark through his account here. No, no legendaries. Oh, there. Oh my gosh. Four Musas. Four Musas. First four Musas. Four Musa Selene. It was probably all in one drop, too. You know what? Let's look. Let's look. Let's find out. Find out where they were. Let's find out where he got those guys. All right, so these are seasonal rewards. Let's just go to reward look up here real quick for just his daily rewards. Let's see. How many drops did he get in order to get those four Musas? Was it over four days, three days, two days? All right, so this must be the... No, he had nine chests there. Oh, there's two Musas, too. Oh, my God. Back-to-back -back Musas for this, for this guy. Like, just, just getting gold chest. He's like, yawn, all takes four Musas over two days. All right. Whatever you say, machine, buddy. I'm going to have to send him a nasty message. Like, what the heck, machine? Get everything. Get everything. All right. Let's go out here. And let's check out our guy, the Psy. So here we are. Ooh, 11K. So prices are going up. Because I think I was at just straight even 11 last time, and now I'm at 11.8. So, I mean, uh, I'll take it. Let's just take one quick look here at Machine. I gotta just check Machine and see how many Muses he's got at this point. Playable, uh, owned Soulbound from Chaos Legion, and in Legendary. How many Muses he got? Oh my gosh, he's short two Muses to max out. Wow. Okay, Machine, alright. Look at that, he's got, like, if I turn on gold, look at this guy. Look, he's already got a three-star. He's one away from getting four-star. He's already got a three-star. He's one away from getting four-star. And he's got a three-star Musa Selene. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. Log out. Log out. Log out. Gross. All right. Here we go. 
Let's log into the Psy Guy. All right. So we're looking at a count of 12, almost 12. And let's see how we do here. Gold SPS jackpot, $104. No way. Congrats, Eternal Paw. The gold SPS jackpot worth 104. Roofs and roofs are both acceptable. Good, good. Ginger and mullen and sour saw. All right, I'll give that a shot. I normally drink a lot of hot toddies, so to, to help with my uh, to help with the cough. So hot toddy for those of you for those of you who don't know is lemon, honey, and a little bit of whiskey or rum. You mix all those together, and, it, and it, it's really soothing. I like to use like tea and stuff like that. You, Ime, you got zero on all accounts. Water legendaries seem to be the stingiest of the bunch. Yep. All right. Here we go, guys. So uh, let's see how we did. Come on, something good. I think I got a lot of chests, too, since switching back to diamond. I think I get, like, double the champ chest, which is nice because it's uh, half, the, half, the ro ro half of the percentages of opening something good, right? So you need twice as many. Noah the Just Times too. Yes, I need Noah. Noah is so good with the new... His, his name is slipping by me right now, but he's so good with the new weapons trainer. I love to put, like, either Noah the Just in front, uh, or I like to put... Um, what's his name? Grimbarland Smith in front, and then I'll put, like... Actually, I put Merdali Guardian in the back most of the time, and then I've got, like, just the ultimate magic team. It's so good. All of these guys that can that can actually go and do weapons training, they're all bosses. <gasps> it's a legendary! It's Beerix! Today is the day of Beerix, everyone! You get a Beerix, and you get a Beerix, and you get a Beerix, and you get a Beerix! Today is the day of Beerix! I'll take my two Beerix. Better than nothing. It's funny though, it's when I was trash talking, I was like, even though it's a Beerix, and then we all get Beerix. All of us except for Machine, who gets Musa Selene, right? Oh, Beerix. They're everywhere, buddy. If only it was an Usit. I need an Usit so bad. 109 Splinter Shards! Yeah! All right. I'm not a big Splinter Shards fan, but it's in the triple digits. I mean, no complaints, right? No complaints. Come on, baby. Hook me up. Oh, one legend. Oh, I thought for a minute it was shaking, but no, it was just my hand wobbling a little bit because I'm getting old. 71 SPS. Right there, we're at. We're probably at like 200 SPS so far. And two Beerix. Yay, Beerix. And I'm also at the point when all my stuff is maxed as well. So I'd really love to see that unlock as well because uh, my Swamp Spear Spitter is maxed. My Coastal's maxed. Gobs and Bombers maxed. It is getting hard for me to find cards I, I still need. Ravenhood Warden is maxed, you know. 800 merits, half a pack, 28 SPS, 85 SPS. Like this Ferox Defender's maxed. So far, so far, aside from Beerix, I don't think I've gotten a card that isn't maxed yet. So I can only imagine those champ players and how frustrating it must be for them. I think that might max Terracious Grunt for me. Fungus Flinger, not maxed yet, but I will max him. He's so good with his blind. His blind is like key sometimes. Fire callers. There we go. My Imperial Knights maxed. Uh oh. Please don't make it just be SPS and, and Burex. Come on. I need that Usit. Please, Usit me. 24 SPS. I'll take it. Please. Usit, I know you're hiding in here. Usit. Usit, where are you? <laughs> Usit. All right, Usit. Please be in here, Usit. Please. 100 SPS. All right. It's no Usit. But I'll probably need that 100 SPS to unlock my Usit in that other account, right? So there we go. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. We got to go and we got to unlock, what, hundreds of EOS chests? Um, let's check out the seasonal summary again for silence this time and see how we did. Come on, baby. Silence. Seasonal summary. I know it's going to be an SPS city. I can tell you that much. Look at that. Eight. What? That's so weak. Okay. I was like, that's so weak. So weak. But it's because it wasn't the right account. $50 in SPS. And two Beerix as a legendary. 
And I, oh, come on. I let my kids open these, please. No. Oh, two Kulu masterminds. Ooh, that's juicy. So two Birks, two Kulus. I think I remember opening those Kulus and combining and now I have a three-star Kulu. Um, but yeah, there we go. All right. So two Kulu, two Birks. I mean, I'm not going to complain. It was a good season, plus 50 bone in SPS. Uh, I like it. I like it. So uh, there we go, guys. Thanks for tuning in with me and watching uh, those EOS chests. It's always a pleasure waiting for you guys. Like I say, it's kind of a little bit like, oh, I, I hate waiting, but at the same time, I love waiting. So I'll, I'll do those with you guys every time there's an EOS, of course. So until next time with that one.